Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 2 um, Uberhood. We are here with uh, the Atomus household, and Tommy is the only one up at the moment, but he can get himself out, so we're just going to go ahead and take care of him as best we can until people get up to take care of him. <sighs> Alright, so we are going to play with the toy. Stop crying, because I think you just woke your sister up. I wonder if she could grab him a bottle. No, okay. Sleep in your pajamas. Let's have you go here. Go in the living room. Please. Not sure why he hasn't rolled any wishes. Find that a little bit odd. But so be it. Um, Alright, so just move the toy out here so we can play with it and doesn't keep waking Sharla up because I don't want that. I did download an auto, like, like, auto lights mod, but it doesn't really seem like it's working. So we're going to turn off this room and we'll turn off this room and this room. Where are you going? Go play with that. I want to see if I turn them off manually, if then I do the auto lights, if it'll work. We'll turn off this room. And then let's do auto lights for all lights and see if that fixes it. I downloaded like a smarter version of that feature. So like it would work properly and let's just hope that it does because honestly right now it doesn't look like it's working which it kind of sucks all right i'm thinking about definitely probably um yeah it doesn't seem to be working like look his lights aren't even on they're supposed to turn on and off by themselves like when a sim walks into the room kind of thing it doesn't seem to be working. I don't know. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. I'll go back and read it after this episode. Um, Alright, let's see. We can change his diaper. And then we will get a bottle for him. Since he is very hungry. And very smelly. We actually could give him a bath, but we don't have a bathtub. I thought there was a bath downstairs, but there isn't. So I'm thinking about kind of cutting into the porch area right here and making like a bathroom that's kind of like this. Um, I'm not really too keen about the porch anyways, as it is. So it doesn't really bother me. Well, this... Oh, that was a fridge. Never mind. Okay. I thought if I told it to do auto lights, it would work, but I'll probably just take that mod back out because it doesn't seem to be working, unless I can figure it out, obviously. There are no interactions available. Why? It's like I can't even interact with the lights now. How weird is that? Auto lights for all lights. I don't know. Nobody but Grandma can interact with the lights. Alright, so he's getting fed. And then we're going to have him have a diaper change. Grandma is ready to wake up. So we're going to have her get up and we'll have her use the bathroom. She can clean it and take a shower. She doesn't really need a shower, but it's okay. Alright, now, go ahead and put Tommy here, because he is all good in the hood. I think he... Oh my goodness. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, at least he's here for the birth. So we need to buy cribs. We don't really have any money. Um, random. <gasps> Please don't be quads. Please don't be quads. I can't handle it if it was. 
Oh boy, I'm nervous. Ah, it's a girl! I'm so excited. Oh, she's got blue eyes like her mama. Oh, it's two girls. Oh, that's really cute. Okay, Samantha, don't die. Don't die on me. Oh, she's got little hair. So cute. Okay. Samantha is going to be the one to stay home. And I need to look at what letter of the alphabet we're on. Q and U. So, for the girl, we're going to name her Quinn Otamus. And for the second baby, whose name starts with a U, we're going to name her Unique. Is she good? Oh, I think she's good. Oh, and all of a sudden, she wants to have ten babies. Okay, so let me write down those names. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and see what we can do for... Um... Well, first of all, mom and dad need a light in their bathroom. And let me turn my mods or my cheats on so I can put this in the center. There we go. Now, let's see what we can get for babies to lay on. Um, um, we could get them these. We could afford two of these. We can't even afford the cheapest bed. So we're going to get two of these. And since they want to have like a thousand kids now. Probably shouldn't do like pink or anything. That's like gender, genderized. I mean, I guess a boy could live it, lay in a pink one. It doesn't really matter. But I just thought maybe we'll just do like a mint green one. And we could put them here in the corner. There we go. Okay. So at least the babies will have something to lay in and they can sleep in these. They don't have to be on the floor because I'm sure that's not comfortable. So we're actually going to go ahead and have you... Who is the one on the floor? That is Quinn. Okay, so go ahead and place Quinn here. And then you are going to place Unique here. We got I will let them have 10 babies because um, I think that's okay. I know some people don't like it and they think like, you know, you shouldn't like fill your your worlds too much. Um, but I think it's okay. Alright, so you want to learn parenting? Okay. What are you doing? Can you please put Unique here? You're good. Why are you being so difficult? Hold Unique. Why don't you go potty? Oh, he doesn't know to potty yet? Okay. Why don't you empty this? You could be a huge help and dispose of all this stuff. You could probably get some leftovers. Could let you watch TV. What is wrong with this baby? Okay. Let's have you hold her. I'll have you potty train Tommy. I thought he was already potty trained. Oh, there's no breakfast food in there. 
Alright, well, let's let you get, go to the bathroom and stuff first. Anyways. Why don't you use and take a shower? And then we can go from there. So Quinn is having a grand time, but Unique is stuck in a crib, I think. Possibly. Why? Um, force air. Let's reset her because she seems glitchy. So let's put Unique here. Don't worry about that. Put the baby there. Thank you. Put her in the little dangle master. Who else is honking? Oh, it's for Sharla. Sorry, Sharla, you didn't get a shower. Okay, does Tommy need anything else? He needs a little bit of hygiene, and we don't really have a way to do that for him. Who's crying? All right, let's have you play with her, cuddle her. We'll have you feed a bottle to Quinn. And then we can have you snuggle her again, if I can, cuddle, and then you can put Quinn here, answer the phone. Tommy is playing, but he does need hygiene. He also does need energy, so I think, who are you talking to? Michelle Wade. I don't know who that is. Let's have you put Tommy in the crib when you're done. Okay. So Quinn is going to be all good. She's been taken care of. The only thing she'll need soon is her bladder helped, but there's nothing we can do. We don't have a changing table yet, so I can't help her with anything really pertaining to that section of her needs. Okay, since you've put him in the crib, come up here and cuddle your daughter, play with her. We'll get you to feed a bottle to Unique. I love how mom literally had a baby today and then went to work. I don't think that's realistic. And then I will have you put her back when you're done. What the heck? He like only has one of the things that I told him to do. Feed a bottle to Unique. Go ahead and cuddle. No, don't put it down. Go ahead and cuddle her and then you can put her in there. And then dad can use this bathroom. Why is this baby crying? Because her bladder is down? Maybe? Alright, why don't you empty this out for me? I just heard the mailman. Or mail lady. Is she just picking up the mail? Okay. That's good. Um, we need to figure out everyone's hobbies too, I think. So yeah, we don't know her hobby. So let's see. Let's have her watch TV for a second. We'll flip through all the different channels and see if we can figure it out. All right, go ahead and change her diaper. And then you can put Unique here. Then you can change her diaper and cuddle her. That should have taken care of the hygiene. Wait, what? Ah! All right, Grandma, I need you to help out. All right, we're going to change this to sports. Change this to the Yummy Channel. Change it to the Weather Channel. Change it to Dance, possibly. 
I don't know. I don't think she likes any of those in particular. All right, cuddle her. And then put um, Unique here. And then change her diaper and cuddle her. Alrighty. So go ahead and put her upstairs in the little play mat that we bought for her. Hopefully we get enough money where we can buy maybe one crib. If not two, that would be fine. So at least we could have something for one of them to be sleeping in. But, I mean, they will sleep in this, so it's no big deal. But eventually, by the time they're toddlers, we need two cribs. Um, when David first began taking drum lessons at school, it was something like a stampede on the Serengeti. Things have changed, and recently David's been rocking the house so much that he's been offered the first chair for percussionist in the school band. David earns 200 from the school for the extra performance he'll be attending. So he got 200 simoleons, so we can actually put that in a little banking account for him, and we should be good there. All right, you can go ahead and play with the toys. So I'm curious with Sim Blender if I can reroll my wants. I don't know why he's not getting any wants. It's kind of weird. He should have wants. He's not a baby. Let's see. Wants. Reroll. Maybe if I reset him. Um, let me see if I reset him if it fixes it. No. Cancel. Cancel. Alright, what? More force air reset. Yeah, I don't know why he has no wants. I think that's weird. Alright, let's have you dispose of this. No. Crawl here. Like, he doesn't have any wants to, like, have any skills taught to him or anything. Like, like walking, talking, anything like that. Um... Maybe if I travel off lot now, it'll fix it? I don't know. We could try. Why don't you go to the bathroom first? So use and take a shower. And the kiddos are good up here. Unique is sleeping and Quinn is just playing. So they are all good. Um, Tommy is going to need to go potty soon. So I will have him... Like, I will have Dora do that. So go ahead and potty train him real quick. Alright, he will also need a bottle. Oh, Peter's healthy again, too. Alright, so we're gonna potty train him, right? Yep. And then we'll feed him a bottle. All right, Samantha's home, and she wants to bring home Jane Stacks, which is fine. That's one of our Sims. She made 320 simoleons today. Oh, there's Jane Tellerman. I feel like Samantha would be good friends with Jan as well. Like, I feel like that would be something she would do. She does want to get a promotion, so we could have her work on logic and cleaning. Because um, that would be really good for her. Are you not listening to me? <laughs> it's 
Tommy needs to go potty and needs a bath. So let's potty train him. We're going to have Samantha. She's going to come on in and dispose of all of these disgusting bottles. And diapers and everything else that's all over the place. Go ahead and recycle that. And what else needs to be cleaned? Clean this and clean this. And... Okay, that's pretty much it upstairs. Make this bed. Anything in the kitchen need to be cleaned. Clean the sink. Clean the counter. And then that should be good for cleaning. She does want to become friends with Jane as well, which I think would be another good friend for her. Because I just think these girls, these women are like really really good people like like I think Samantha's a really good person so yeah and then he needs hygiene but I think well grandma wants to study parenting so let's have her do that study parenting when you're done cleaning out the potty oh my goodness you just threw that on the floor dude clean that up all right, there's a skunk and a dog. Lots of things. This kid needs a shower. Really bad. Um, yeah. Reset that. Reset it. Reset. Or delete. <laughs> I don't know. I try at least to reset it. If it doesn't work, then I delete it. Alrighty. Mom also needs a shower. So when she's done cleaning up and everything, let's have her go ahead and take a shower herself. How close is she to coming up in? Oh, she's not coming upstairs to clean anything. She's already done it. Use and take a shower. And then we'll get you some leftovers. Grandma could have some leftovers. Oh, she just got her cleaning skill that she wanted. Nice. Um, so the only other thing we need is a logic skill. And I don't think we have a telescope. So I think if we want to, like, be able to um, build logic, we'll have to buy a telescope. We have to remember, we only have 340 simoleons, though, because technically 200 is for the sun because he got it at school and we can't afford the telescope because it's 550 unless when dad gets home we can afford it then that's different right now we can't afford it david has the opportunity to enter college before moving into college david can use a computer or phone to apply for scholarships okay and how many days does he have he still has six more days and David just brought home another 35. All right, you want to invite someone over? Call up Kaylin then and invite her over. Where is this kid? There he is. All right, mom, come change. I know the babies upstairs are crying. Um... Uh, Kaylin is who you're looking for. You want to invite her over. Um, okay. I don't think we can change his diaper, but we can put him in the crib. Okay. Her psychic advisor has told her not to leave the house today. Okay. We'll chat with her. We don't know her well enough. Must be. Um, Kaylin... We can just talk for a little while. Go ahead and feed the baby. Yeah, that's fine. Having some chef salad is what it looks like. 
Grandma is going to serve dinner. She's going to make up some lime seared prawns for everyone. Oh, and let me show you. He got 580? Holy moly. Okay. Um, we'll definitely be able to get some stuff with that. Um, let me show you all the traits everyone got. Oh, wait. Did mom not do the traits like I told her to? Ah. Uh, where is the traits thing? I forget where I put it. It's here somewhere. It might be on a wall on the inside and we can't see it. There it is. All right, let's have mom do this. Options, put this to 10%. Okay. She's breastfeeding um, unique. Though she more so needed hygiene and bladder than anything. Okay. He wants to woohoo and woohoo in a bed. So I guess we can have him woohoo with his wife. What's wrong with Jane? Man, this auto lights thing did not work like I had hoped it would. Stinks. Where are you going? No, just put the baby here. Put Unique here. And then feed this baby. Oh. Alright. Here. Change the diaper. Feed the baby. Can you come change this baby? And then put Unique here. Charlotte didn't eat. Go eat. Who finished their homework? Nobody. His family's in for it. I swear to goodness. Um. Alright, put her in there and then come down and put Tommy in the crib. Clean this up. And then I am going to have David go ahead and turn this to 10% and add the missing traits for Tommy, David, Charla, uh, Dora, Samantha, and Peter. Okay, so now they should have all of their traits that they should have had from the get-go. So, um, Dora here is handy, grumpy, shy, socially awkward, and a perfectionist. Peter is a vehicle enthusiast, loves the heat, and commitment issues, perfect. Loves the cold and evil. Um, Samantha is a heavy sleeper, irresistible, unstable, excitable, and charismatic. David is neurotic, absent-minded, dramatic, and hot-headed. And Sharla is a coward, unstable, and star quality. Tommy is insane and athletic. That's cute. And then the babies don't get it until they age up, which they don't age up today. So, that is all good in the hood. She's going to serve up that dinner. Um, she has not learned parenting yet. But I thought she was really close. Okay, she's not. Let's have her stop because she's getting really hungry. And I don't want her to starve herself. Okay. Now upstairs. Mom is taking care of baby, but she needs a butt change. So let's have her change the diaper. And then we'll have her put Quinn in here. Okay, you just changed her diaper twice. Oh, she almost fell asleep. 
All right. Go ahead and put her in there, and then you can go sleep in your pajamas. He's taking a shower, which is good. You, my friend, need to use the toilet. And then I'm going to have you help your parents out and clean this up. And then you can go to bed. Oops, your bed is upstairs. Go ahead and sleep. Charla, go to sleep. And then the three kiddos are in bed already. So we're just on you. Can we please turn this light on? Turn on this room. Okay. So she made some dinner. Yes. Peter, you may go to bed. Samantha, I'm going to have you get up real quick. I just want you to come down and eat. Because you are very hungry. And I think it's important we get you some food. Alright, you didn't have to serve this much. Because, like, only a few people are going to be eating. Like, you and Samantha, that's it. Jane is here. Just chit-chatting with us. We're going to go ahead and get a photo of the babies upstairs. Okay, let's get a photo of them for the cover. Okay, so I got a photo of them, and we are all good there. Did she finish eating? All right, you can go to bed. I will have Dora take care of the rest. She can put away these leftovers. And then I'll have her also clean up, because her bed is right down here, and she doesn't work, so... Oh, you know what? Before she goes to bed, let's actually have her go upstairs, use the bathroom, and then go to bed. So use later, and then go to bed. Perfect. Just about midnight, Grandma is about to head to bed. Okay, so he wants to woohoo with his wife. I am going to keep that in mind. Um, she also wants to have more babies, so that's another thing we can keep in mind. So who is the next Sims to age up? Peter, um, Charla, maybe? Five days, four days, six days, 32, 31, and she's 81 days old. Probably the babies, I would assume, then. I think they age up in three days. So nobody will age up in this round. Nobody will be going to college from this round. Nobody will be aging up to teen or child or toddler. That's interesting. All right, so Grandma had to come all the way upstairs just to go to the bathroom. And then Tommy is awake now. I don't think... Oh, he is potty trained. Okay. Okay, put me down. I gotta go potty. Put me down, I gotta go potty. <laughs> Thanks, Jane. You're a doll. We appreciate you. Alright, so he's just getting up there and going potty. He can't get in here, though, so that's unfortunate. Uh, I don't... Yeah, we could just have someone get him a toy out. Where is she running off to? Is Jane pregnant? Interesting. That's very interesting. Alright, so I am actually going to go ahead and leave it here. Because, you know, we've played through our day and my time has went off. 
So yeah, we have one more day with this family and um, nobody will age up or anything, but we'll have one more day with the babies and such. And possibly maybe mom and dad will woohoo and goodness knows if they'll get pregnant because I do have a larger family mod where I can have more than eight sims in my household. So that is something. <laughs> so we could have more babies even knowing our household is full with eight right now. So that'll be interesting. All right, so if you guys enjoyed it, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. In the description below is all of my social media links. Definitely check all of that out. Also, don't forget to follow me over on Twitch where I live stream The Sims 2 mainly and The Sims 3. I did re um, stream the Growing Together expansion that just came out because that was really interesting to me. And I wanted to show it off you know because i think it's a good expansion um and uh yeah so also don't forget to follow my discord and i will talk to you guys in my very next one thanks very much for watching